The biggest lesson I learned making this whole album was that being a leader, you know, setting the, the trends on radio and setting the trends in music is, is way more legendary than following them. Always just try to keep it real and organic and innovative. Keep that Detroit soul, man. Tell them that I need more. Tell them that I need more. I call Detroit home. I call the west side of Detroit home. And that's where my heart is. That's where I became a man. That's where I had to earn my city's respect. The best part about Detroit is my grandma's house. Gotta be the best part about Detroit. I did everything in that house. Rode my bike for the first time, I'm lose my virginity, get my first car, to used to wake up to pancakes every Saturday morning. Like those are the memories that'll forever be in my head. I'm able to do what I love to do. I don't consider fame a bad thing or good thing. It's just I'm able to do what I love to do and make a living off of it. You know, support my family. Last time I felt truly overwhelmed was the minute my album dropped, that was the most important, that was the happiest day of my life. But for me, it was like since 12 years old, man, this is the shit I've been dreaming about. This is like everything. I'm excited, man, you know, I really wanna be one of the leaders of this new generation, man, and just make new shit. You know, be that Detroit player, set these trends, man, and be legends, you know, go for the glory. Sometimes I'm at my best when I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like how rapping for Kanye was spurred at the moment. When sometimes when shit is laid out, I just kind of fuck it up sometimes. And a lot of my life is spurred at the moment, and that's when I'm at my best. You know, my worst, honestly, was when I was grinding to get to this point, and when, you know, I was spending my last, like, $40 on studio sessions when I couldn't afford to eat at McDonald's. You know, that was the worst. But times like those make times like these just that much better.